Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Oh man, am I excited. Woohoo! Okay, why am I excited? I'm going to tell you a story and it relates to messages. How do we get messages from angels, archangels, spirit guides, deceased relatives, or whoever wants us to know what we're doing? okay so people always ask me how do we know when we've got a message you've got to find within ourselves that let me just rephrase that sorry when we find messages they're generally something that is not normally found okay on a rainy day Just one little bit of cloud may open up right where the sun is and a ray will come out. It's unnormal. That occurs. So if you see it, you know it's a message. No birds in the sky, yet a a feather will float down near you and you watch it as it falls. So you've got to go pick it up. So that could be a message. I've said to people over the years, always ask for a coin from a different country because when you find it it is rare it's unique so it's meant just for you okay i was doing a reading one day and a lady said how can i connect with my mother who passed about five years ago and i said well find something you know you live in america i live in australia so why don't you ask for a 10 cent well actually no she was in australia sorry And I said, why don't you ask for an American 10 cent piece, which is called a dime. About two days later, she went to work in the kitchenette. Everyone has their own little pigeonholes, you know, little square, all stacked up. You put in your coffee, your coffee mug, your sugar, your coffee. So everyone's got their own little square bit for their personal items. Right there on her shelf, right next to her coffee mug was a 10 cent piece from America, a dime. So it was specific for her, okay? Now, when we get messages, whatever the message is, you've got to research it and find out what does it mean, okay? So I always put into Google something like, if it's a coin, okay, what does a coin mean spiritually? If I find a feather, I say, what does a feather mean spiritually? Okay, if it's a pink feather, what does a pink feather mean spiritually? Okay, what does, insert what it is, mean spiritually? Okay, I always do that. Now I'm going to tell you a story of what happened this morning, why I'm so excited. Because one thing I do want to let you know, guys, I am not egotistical. I'm very humbled for from what I do, okay? And when I get messages that I've just received this morning, I just want to go, ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to tell a story. (laughs) This morning, it is really cold. It is raining. And I've seriously, oh, look, I'm going to show you. Now, it's 11 a.m., okay? I have one two, three, four layers on because it's so cold here, okay? This is a long sleeve shirt, so there you go. I'm just going to pull it down now that I've said that, right? I'm going to pull it down. Um, In my tarot, I just had it nicely pulled up under my sleeves, but it's freezing here, okay? For Queensland, this is freezing weather, 15 Celsius, okay? So it's cold. All my doors and windows are shut, obviously, right? I have no intention of leaving the house today at all. I want to just stay in bed with the heat packs. We even had heat packs in the bed last night. It was that cold. So woke up and I went outside and I was having my morning coffee and I heard her say, take out the rubbish. Really? This is my reaction, right? Really? You want me to take out the rubbish? You want me to go out the front, walk down through on the wet path with my Ugg boots on? Because, look, I've even got still my Ugg boots on, right? (laughs) 
because it's freezing here. You want me to get my I'm boots wet, go to the bin. And I was thinking, no, I'm not doing that. I'm frozen, right? Go out the front. That's what she said. Go out the front. And I thought, oh, God. Well, the bin's only half full. I don't usually em- um, empty my rubbish bins until it's all the way full. But I thought, okay, she wants me to go out the front. As I opened the front, I've got the bin bag in one hand. I turned the knob with the other on the door. I opened the door and I went, ah! On my front doorstep is a St. Bernard dog. Now, I took photos and I've just mentioned it in my tarot reading. Look, here's the photo of the dog. Now, as you can see, the timestamp says today. I don't know if you can read it. I'll just turn around. It says today, 7.30. So it's my real photo from today. There's the St. Bernard standing at my front. Oh! What a timing for a text to come through, right? Oh my gosh, I should have muted my phone. All right, so I've got this dog at my front door. There he is. There he is again. He actually curled up on my mat and he started to go to sleep. So there I was sitting out the back. She said, go take out the rubbish because she wanted me to open the front door because this is what she does. She will tell me, go there or go there and something will happen. She doesn't tell me what will happen. She just puts me into that space at the right time, at the right place when something will happen. Right. So this is her messages on how I receive them. Okay. And I want to just reiterate, guys, I am not I am not telling you this to make me look great here. I'm explaining this so you guys learn, okay, what it is when we get messages. So this St. Bernard, I've lived here for seven years. I've never seen a St. Bernard in my area. So I'm there walking down the street in the rain with my daughter trying to find the owner. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Came back here, the dog's still on the front doorstep. He's now gone, by the way, because I came inside, did my tarot, and now he's gone. It's like, where did it go? That's the other thing. So how did it come in, and where did it go? Huh. It's like they just appear, right? Don't ask those questions of how did it appear and where did it go, because the message was for me today. Obviously, I got the message So the first thing we've got to do is recognize when we get our messages, okay? We've got to identify it and say, wow, that was a bit freaky. Oh, I wonder if that was a message. That's all we have to say, okay? That's all we have to say. Is that a message? So then you get onto your phone or your iPad, computer or whatever else, technical device. I've got an iPad. So I went on Google and I said, what does a St. Bernard mean spiritually? Now, I'm going to read this for you because a lot of people that watch my videos know me personally. I've done readings for years or I've emailed you because, hello, a lot of people email me, right? So I do connect with a lot of people and I'm sure that you're all going to agree with this. So if you do, please press the like button, okay? So others know this is true about who I am. It's not me gloating. It's not me being um, um, being pride of myself, okay? I want to share because once you read what this totem animal means you're going to say my god that is linda okay you're going to agree so i want to share this today and there's nothing wrong with sharing when good things happen to us okay all right so i'm reading from powerfully powerfully mystic 8.com okay saint bernard dog symbol message (laughs) okay here's what it means Whether the St. Bernard dog appears in dreams, visions, waking life or synchronicities. Now, there's a synchronicity. Sitting at the back, she said, go out the front. There it is. I found him. So she wanted me to find the dog, right? It is a sign and message that you will be able to help yourself a lot on this journey. Many people will meet you. Hello, I've met a lot of you, right? Without me doing this, I would never have met you all. Okay. Um, 
you will find rare success or blessings that appear rare to others. Hello, look at all the crazy things that have happened in my life. I survived a plane crash. I've broken my neck. I had a brain tumor. I've been married twice. I've been divorced. I went to America. I've um, I've kissed Bon Jovi. Hello. I've kissed Muhammad, um, um, Muhammad Ali. All right, I've had some very cool events in this life. Okay. Um, continue along with your journey and know that you are on your uh, that you are your own person. You are very you you are your very own teacher at times as well. Well, that's what I do here, right? I teach, so this is very important to me. You cannot limit your light because it scares or attracts certain types of people. Hello, creepy stalker. If you're watching creepy stalker, hello, because this says. You cannot limit your light because it scares or attracts certain types of people. Good. Whatever you bring out in others is something that they will need to work out within themselves. Isn't that what I teach? How to be better people? How to self-analyze ourselves, right? You do not have to become like a giant. You are already big in destiny, destiny alone. The more you try to outdo the next or other person is the more that it will cost you in money time or energy that's why i don't compete guys look at my hair look at my roots i could have gone and had my roots done so i sit here in my videos doing really nice cool oh yeah look at her she's so pretty i don't need that because i've got no pretense i don't judge and i don't compare myself to other people okay um uh, as far as heaven knows you have a big heart that often gets overlooked I actually have got a big heart. It's two centimeters, um, two millimeters bigger than a normal heart. So I actually do have a physically big heart. <laughs> when I was a kid, people used to call me um, Farlap, that horse, um, that horse that used to run races down in Melbourne in the late thirties or forties. Farlap, P H A R L A P, because he had a big heart too, right? Bigger than normal size. Okay, um, but no more. People will start to notice you. You will show up everywhere you go. Really. People will be attracted to you like a magnet. Begin to declare your future. You do not have to outrun anybody. Be your authentic self and know your best is here and not just yet to come. Don't worry about anyone who sees you as a threat. That will dissolve shortly and not because you will shrink. Ooh. You will get bigger and better and bolder. Yay! Does anyone want to be an affiliate? Sponsor me? <laughs> See how I joke about it, right? You will come to a sense of calm rather than being on guard all the time because you will realize you are already and always protected. Hold your head up high. Something difficult is about to break off of you. Now, let's just go there. Today is the 22nd of May, 2022. Okay, I do have a couple of relatives and aren't going so well. Um, but something is about to break off of me. So let's just use this now and see if this is a prophecy. Okay, this is what the dog is protecting me against. Okay, something could break. So let's just stay tuned with that. So the reason why I've just read all that out is because I want you guys to learn how to do this yourselves. If that message, you sit in there and you think, oh yeah, I sort of know Linda. Um, that rang true to me please comment please please like this comment okay this video um, I'm not egotistical you'd all know that you know I just say it as it is um, yeah wow anyway so let's just get back to messages ask for your messages ask for something that's so rare and unique that you wouldn't find it where you live so if you live in the desert ask to see a sail of a boat because <laughs> there's no boats in this desert right if you live near the water ask for ask to see some animal that like a prairie animal or something okay something from a savara head at um the um, plains of of a um south african safari type thing so we ask for something that is so unique and special okay otherwise they just send us our messages like today but remember remember when we see something that's rare, unique, or just out of place, like a St. Bernard sitting on your doorstep, it's whether we identify the message. It's whether we actively research and read what that animal or object represents 
and then what we do about it in our future. So that message today, it's virtually saying I'm a very protected person. I already know that. She's with me all the time. Okay, so it's that confirmation. Because I have been having a little bit of a rough week with relatives, not well. Um, so that's them saying, Linda, you're going to be okay. You're protected. So when you do see something and you think, wow, that was a message, go research it. Identify it. And if you are like some people who I do spirit guide readings for, go and get a photo of the animal that I tell you is your spirit guide, okay? Because the more we have this visualization around us, the more it confirms in us that we are on our right path and we are doing ultimately what our higher good, higher self, them, thank you for my dog this morning, do you notice what I just did? I just said thank you for the dog this morning. Always give praise. Always give that thanks. Feel how special we are. Because, you know, it does take a lot of energy to create these things for us. Okay? Sit there and just say, well, I haven't received any messages this week. But it doesn't matter if you haven't. It just means that we aren't ready to receive them. Or... We're already on the path that they want us to be. Okay? We only receive messages when they are needed. So if you don't receive in your messages, guys, count yourself lucky because you don't need that reassurance that you're already on the right path. And if you do want to receive them, all you've got to do is ask for them. Just look to the heavens like I do all the time. And just say, you know what, I need a sign, I need a message. Please let me know what you want me to do. And then be aware. Always be on the lookout for those messages. Because sometimes it's just a little feather. And it will fall in the grass. And if you weren't aware, weren't observing you wouldn't see it fall right and they sit up there thinking damn she didn't see the message now I've got to send another one because <laughs> that happens okay does happen so look around be aware of things that that's not usually like that or where did that come from or how did that get there type things and then research it and see what the spiritual meaning is. Peace and love always, guys. I hope that's helped today with your messages. Let me know below or you can email me. My email is below also in the description if you want to personally tell me what happened to you this week. Okay. Best of luck, everyone. Oh, no, I'm going to have a great day now. I've got to go see if that St. Bernard's still around. I don't think he is. He's gone. Weird. Where did it go? I don't need to know, right? Because that's the beauty of them. Love you all, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.